Alrighty folks, this is just a short little video to show you uh, some of my food preps. Uh, this is my preferences here. Um, you know, I just love canned food because first of all, it's, it's readily available, um, it's fairly cheap, and you know, you can eat it directly out of the can. You don't have to have any kind of cooking source or anything like that. Um, it's great for taking out camping, uh, just anything. It's great stuff, you know. But uh, I just wanted to give you a little run through of some of my food preps here. So starting off over here, of course, we have some beef gravy, cans of beef gravy. Um, those, of course, will go really good with the mashed potatoes down here. Uh, I have four cheese mashed potatoes, uh, loaded baked potato mashed potatoes, uh, white cheese, Italian Romano white cheese mashed potatoes. Then over here we have the rice sides. Uh, these are really good, especially uh, the rice pasta blend with broccoli and cheesy cheddar sauce. Delicious. Okay, then of course, um, moving on over here, we also have all these cans of mackerel that I have. Okay, now mackerel is a really, really good canned fish because when you open the can, drain all the uh, brine out, rinse it out with cold water, uh, then just, you know, just, just smush it all down into a fine, fine shred, and then mix it with mayonnaise, and it's just like tuna. It's delicious. Uh, moving on up over here, we have chicken tamales in a can. Uh, those are really good too, especially whenever you have it with cheese and these guys right up here Those French fried onions uh, You kind of make a casserole with it. And it's delicious Okay, then of course you got corn. I always got to have corn now I have the canned corn here, which like I said, it's ready to eat or I also have the dried corn up here I have the two big jars of the, the dried corn uh, over to the left of the corn here, I have a big jar of plain potato flakes. Uh, and then to the right of it, I have a large jar of white rice. Going back down here, just below the corn, we have green beans. We have the naturals, green beans, and the regular cut green beans. Now what you see in the middle right here is uh, my ghost peppers. I love ghost peppers and the only way I can preserve it to, for long term is in vinegar. So therefore I'm still going to be able to have my heat. <laughs> uh, just above that we have some chicken flavor bouillon. Now that's really really good for whenever you're eating food that's very bland, whatnot, you know. <clears throat> just add a little flavoring to it with some of that uh, chicken bouillon. Uh, of course got honey, got a lot more than that too, but just don't have enough room to be putting everything over here. Um, honey will last almost indefinitely and honey is a great source of, of, of you know your sugars, natural sugars, uh, natural cures, all kinds of stuff. It's great stuff. Uh, then coming down here of course we have this Keystone ground beef. Now this stuff I'm telling you right now if you've if you've never tried it, try it. Keystone makes the delicious ground beef. It really tastes just like the store-bought ground beef, fresh ground beef when you go in the store and buy it. It's delicious. Um, when you open the can, yeah, it doesn't have the best flavor. Definitely it smells like canned food. But I'll tell you what, man, when you cook it, it has chunks in it and everything just like regular ground beef. It's really, really good. Just below the ground beef, we have chicken and dumplings. Okay, got a whole lot of chicken and dumplings all the way around here. Uh, the chicken dumplings, what more can you say about it? It's chicken and dumplings. It's really good if you like dumplings. Uh, just above over here, we also have some cans of the green chili enchilada sauce. Uh, that stuff's really good with this. And if you have some corn tortillas, or you could take this corn here and turn it into a masa and make some corn tortillas, you can make yourself some really good tacos with that. <laughs> Uh, up here, I just put a couple boxes of macaroni and cheese. I don't think I needed to put a whole lot up there to show you macaroni and cheese is a good prep item. Um, but macaroni and cheese is a good prep item. Uh, barbecue sauce, uh, of course, um, preserves. Uh, just Then, of course, over here under the french fried onions, of course, we've got the spaghetti noodles. And then right over here, we have the spaghetti sauces. Okay. Um, now below the spaghetti noodles, we have all these cans of the chicken bologna. Now this stuff is really good 
it's a great canned meat. You know, what more can I say? Um, if you're not really into bologna, it's definitely not the way you want to go. I'd say it's a cross between um, spam and and bologna. That's the cross of the flavors. It's it's pretty good actually, um, especially if you like fried bologna and cheese sandwiches. This is the way to go. This stuff is delicious because it's whole, and you got to actually slice it to the thickness that you like it. So you cut it into a nice thick slices. Each one of these cans will cut you three thick slices for your fried bologna sandwiches. And that stuff is delicious. Maybe I'll have to make another video for the fried bologna and cheese sandwich just so you can see uh, what it looks like. And, and then you could try it at home. Uh, just next to that over here, we also have the uh, premium dark chicken and water. Uh, got a whole stack of those. Um, I prefer that over the white chicken. The white chicken tends to be a little dry and stuff as the dark chicken is not. So I prefer that one. Um, next to that over here, we have the pulled pork and water fully cooked. Now I'll tell you what these things are really good with. These, okay, cook this up, mix it with some of that barbecue sauce and you got some great pulled pork sandwiches. It's really, really, I mean almost to die for man. Um, now, of course, you know, you may be in tough situation or whatever, you know, uh, or even like I said, just camping out. Um, it's, it's always good to have some of your, 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 your comfort foods too, you know. So right down here, of course, we have some blueberry muffin mix, the ones that you just add water, and the strawberry muffin mix that you just add water, and the triple berry muffin mix that you just add water. So anyways, this is just a this is just a little quick view of some of my prep items. Just wanted to give you the rundown so you see how basically um, I stuff I, I pile up or not pile up how I stuck up on my long term food storage. Um, I like to be quick, easy, and readily available. So that was it, and until next time, peace out, guys.